Today we're going to talk about a very famous blues riff, and it's a very nice exercise for working on your rhythm guitar strumming and your right hand muting. So, let's, let's come into the left hand. I'll just show you real quick. We're going to use an E chord. Right? First finger, first fret of the G string, second finger, second fret of the A string, third finger, second fret of the D string. And then I'm going to play a G string, a G chord. I probably will mute the A string, but first fi finger on the first fret, uh, second fret of the A string, second finger on the third fret of the low E, my my uh, uh, third finger on the third fret of the B string, and my fourth finger on the third fr fret of the high E string, and then an A chord where I do first finger on the first fret of the G string. Second fret of the G string, rather. Second fret finger on the second fret of the D string, and third finger on the second fret of the B string. I might actually bar it with my first finger if I'm feeling cavalier. You'll probably see me do both in this video. You can fret these chords however you like, but that's where you do E, G, and A. Okay, so here's how the riff goes. The riff goes one and and. I'm just playing what I call the open string passing chord. Oh, look, I did do the, the barred A. I just released the chord. It's kind of a G chord, but rather than having to do that whole transition, traditionally people will play the opening, open, open string passing chord, as I call it. So I go down, up, up, up. One trick that I want to show you very carefully with the right hand is that I'm doing a lot of right hand muting. And I want to show you how I accomplish that. So I'm going, I'm going to I'll do it all. I'll do the riff. So down, up, 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 down, down, up, down. All of these, notice the hand moving like this. I'm muting with the pinky side of my palm there. I just a little, a little more light there. There's a lot of mutes in there. Let's look. Let's look at this. We're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one. Okay. One. be a lot to get together at once so first thing you can start try this just play it all on one chord forget about the transitions for a second and just I'm gonna play it all on the E chord so one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one okay see if that works for you one Okay, if that's a little too challenging, we can break it into two parts. It's a good thing to do. Still, I'm going to do one one chord. So I'm going to go one and two and three and four and one. Just stopping on the downbeat of the second bar, okay? One and two and three and four and one, okay? Then think it in your mind. One and two and three and four and one. Then do it again. One and two and three and four and one. One and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. One and two and three and four and two. Now try to do that without having your hands stop. So keep this muting motion with your hands. So one and two and three and four and one. Two and three. Go. Go. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, go. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, go. 
Okay, now let's practice the second half of it. The trick about this is that it starts on the upbeat. So it goes one and, and three, four and. Okay, let's try that again. One and, and three, four and. One, two, three, four. One and, and three, four and. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we need to get that second half together so that we can play it with the chord changes, okay? So I'm going to go like this. One and, and three, four and one. Okay? So this is and, and three, four and one. Two, three, four, one. that up right there on the end because that'll help us as we try to put the two parts together. So I'm just doing the second half of the pattern now. One, two, three, four, one. One. Okay, now let's practice the first half. Okay, now we're going to practice the second half. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, now let's go back to the first half. that as many times as you need to go through the individual parts practice each of the individual parts you can stop the video and practice each slowly this is a great practice technique if you have any questions about other ways to practice this please put them in the comments like share subscribe all that stuff thanks for watching